So tuone namna kufanya configuration za IP phone kwenye Cisco packet tracer. Hapa na four networks, uh, network ya kwanza na IP address 10.0.0.0. This is a network ID slash 8 and class A. Second network ni 30.0 and here hapa ni second network. Third network ni 10.0 and 20.0 uh, na network ni four networks. Na VLAN mbili kama two VLAN sa VLAN ya kwanza ni data VLAN for computers and VLAN ya pili ni voice VLAN for IP phones. Okay. So perform, perform routing uh, routing kwa ajili ya ku route data na voice kutoka network moja kwenda network nyingine. So routing process ya ku forward packet from one network to another network. Okay now. So hebu ku test hizi IP phone numbers zipo katika the same network kufanya testing. So kwenda katika IP phone ya kwanza. For example, anaipigia IP phone hii huko ambazo zipo katika the same network. Kwa hiyo naona click Okay, so after clicking, uh, just click on here. Okay, so now, we are going to try with the graphical user interface. So, we are going to get a phone number, ni 1000, uh, as a phone number, and this phone number is UF. So, just click 1004. I call this phone. Okay, so now I'm going to so I'm going to cancel. Okay, I'm going to be able to call the IP phone numbers because it's the same network. Again, to call the phone here, just my click. Okay, so now I'm going to call the phone here and it's because it's the same network. So, okay, so then the phone number is F1 and this is F1 and so just call one. Zero zero two. About me here. So okay. So now to be able to test the IP phones, some of the people another network. So I'm going to find routing. Ili uh, easy data for the voice is where the core root for new routing. We're going to network here. I'm going to tend to zero to zero to one. We're going to network. So it was the cool. Final communication between two networks does not perform routing. Okay, so now suppose we are talking about this phone, yes, we are talking about this phone, and this network is different. Different networks. So we are talking about graphical user interface and this phone. Different networks. Okay, so we need from one and one, and we need from two and Okay, now so. 2001 call this phone okay call and different networks and call this one in 1004 another network okay now <coughs> so now up and uh, pro so let's see okay okay so now we have steps here step of one of build physical topology Step, step, network one, step one, building our network physical topology. Okay, so now we end up building another uh, network here. So just file new, uh, just save it. Okay, now, so now step number one, building physical topology, and just nakuja hapa, package chesa. So I just kuchukua, nakuja kuklik kwenye intermediary devices. I mean routers, I'll select the routers, we have select the uh here two eighty one one so my click and I drop. So then this is layer three device and so layer two devices switch and paste. Then we have to add the end uh, end station here, so just click it. PC, then I press PC Apple. Another is IP phone. So I click IP phone. Ya kwaza. Yes, IP phone. Ya pili. IP phone. Ya tatu. And then this is IP phone. Okay, now. <coughs> so another step is uh, connection. Uh, just kuchukua uh, straight through cable. We will connect our likely devices. So now switch. And this is the end station. This is 
layer 2 device intermediary device so now i click on connection na chagua uh, straight through a copper cable so now i click so kwenda katika phone na connect katika switch and katika switch na na connect katika fast ethernet 02 not 01 is 02 so na katika 02 again let's connect it switch fast ethernet 03 again uh, switch uh, 0304 and uh, switch 04 and 05 and 06 to PC and fast ethernet 0 ok now so I wanna add you one more IP phone I'll just click your end devices and IP phone yes drag it ok Let's go connections and just connect it and 07 to okay now. So na connect bana ya router pamoja na switch. Let's connect it. Hapa una connect kwenye fast ethernet 01 to fast ethernet 00. Okay. <coughs> so uh let's connect it. Okay. So IP address uh, katika network hii itakuwa ni 10.0.0.0/8. So hii itakuwa ni network ya DM class A. So katika interface hapa tutaweka pia address ya 10.0.0.1/8. IP address katika interface ya fast ethernet 00, okay? So now add one PC for configuration. So nachukua laptop hiyo kwa ajili ya configuration so nafika katika connection na chagua console cable kwa ajili ya kufanya management so katika uh, router na connect katika console port katika pc na connect katika rs232 okay okay now so another step is to perform configurations assign ip rss to interface is step 2 assign ip rss to physical interface physical interface okay now so open my pc okay after opening so I come katika desktop and choose terminal emulation program here and click ok so nimesha ingia katika terminal emulation program okay so I'm gonna click no okay so now tunafanya configuration katika hii router iweze ku uweza kuwezesha kufanya uh, communication za hizi IP forms eh. so utakuja katika router so hii mode inaitwa user executive mode so utakuwa katika mode hii na katika privileged mode na ni command inaitwa enable ndio katika privileged mode so naenda kwenye global configuration mode kwa ajili ya kufanya zile configurations so naandika config config t o config terminal config t o config terminal okay so let's change host name. The host name is router by default. So host name, host name, any name. For example, my router. This is host name. So the host name is changed from router to my router. That's the host name. Okay. So now uh, another step is configure uh, DHCP DHCP server wa ajili ya ku assign PRS automatically to end stations like IP phone and uh, computer DHCP server so configure DHCP server so kama uko kufanya configuration za DHCP server kuna PRS ambazo zinatakuwa zio excluded IP address ya kwanza ndio katika interface ya fast ethernet 00 uh, IP address hiyo inakuwa hiyo excluded IP address ambayo tayari so tunaingia katika interface ya fast ethernet Zero zero. I'm we'll just to assign IP addresses to interface. First Ethernet zero zero. Okay. So now, <coughs> now the interface and then first Ethernet. Uh, just is this one zero zero. Interface first Ethernet zero stroke zero. And then assign IP address. So IP add. And then it's ten dot zero dot zero dot one. And the subnet mask will be 
0.0.0.0 plus a ya PRS. And then I click enter. After then, issue command no shoot down, no, no shoot. No shoot, interface will be active. Okay, and another step is the configuration so for DHCP server. Uh, so DHCP server, uh, so let command the exit while you to talk this is the interface mode, interface mode to global configuration mode. So each command exists and um, IP DHCP, then uh, excluded the RS, IP DHCP, then ex excluded the RS from 10.0.0.1. So we have to make a static curve to make IP RS manual. Huh? So as much we exclude in default gateway, as much we exclude to 10.0.0.5. Is IP address as much we excluded it. After then, without subnet mask, I click enter. Now we need to position a final configuration as a DHCP. So now, each command IP DHCP is in pool. pool pull pull on the database via DHCP. So pull name will be my pool. Yes, we are my pool. Oh yes, my pool. IP DHCP pool my pool. And then mention network. Mention network. Then just write command network will be ten dot zero dot zero dot zero. So this is the network ID. Network ID for 10.0.0.1 so this is the network id after then what submit mask 255.0.0.0 after then I click enter and then and the default router so default router default router will be the default gateway ip address without submit mask 10.0.0.1 default router is default gateway or IP address about my funny configuration statica first Ethernet is all zero. After then I click enter. So command for time to try this here uh his IP phone for your car. So write option option one fifty IP then you pick IP address and on default gateway. So it'll be ten dot zero dot zero dot one then click enter and uh, you will never configure DNS saver so D and S will be saver will be 8.8.8.8 and Google 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 DNS saver then you click enter after then you write your command exit okay so now Tupo katika position ya kucheck hizo IP address kwenye end devices and just yes, minimize uh, nikija hapa katika hizi kwenye computer as well niki click computer kuja kwenye desktop IP configurations niki enable DHCP now ina request IP address and DHCP request is successful now nuzo kawama IP address is mis mis start from 10 dot zero dot zero dot six because to me exclude the IP address from ten dot zero dot zero dot one to ten dot zero dot zero dot five to me say exclude so now we done zero six okay <coughs> so now okay you can use IP phones you can just position your for as an IP address mona no IP address katika IP phones so now we can just uh, terminal emulation program to enable telephony services. Welcome back. So now, <coughs> right command tele telephony services. Telephony service after then you just click enter. So maximum uh, maximum e phones maximum e phones equal to uh, I have only five one two three four five IP phones. So maximum e phones is five. Then click enter. So maximum directory number. So max D N D N is directory number. Uh, maximum is five because I have only five. One, two, three, four, five. After then click enter. 
Okay, so now enable IP source address. So IP source uh, uh, source IP source address IP source address and you pick default gateway IP source address pick default gateway number 10 dot zero dot zero dot one then mention port number for voice port number is port uh, two zero 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 of course port number for voice after then you pick enter oh sorry IP source Okay, now so on uh, IP source RS, yes, looks like spelling. Okay, now uh, source RS, yes, kuna your symbol. After then, I pick enter. Okay, so now IP RS, then I call you automatically assigned it to end stage to uh, IP phones. So now you have na enable. So auto assign. Uh, of course, how to assign, uh, of course, from 4 to 6, and then how to assign again from 1 to, to 5. And then you click enter. Okay, so after then, you just write command exit. Then, what you assign phone number? Assign phone number, the IP phones, uh, phone number. So, E phones, uh, e phones directory number one, then you click enter. E phones, uh, e phone, sorry, uh, S, e phone directory number one. So the interface will be activated, yeah? state from down to up, then machine number, number will be one zero zero one. Okay, again iPhone directory number two, then pick enter. The number will be one zero zero two. You click enter. iPhone three, then the number will be uh, uh, of course zero zero three zero zero one uh, zero zero two. This would be zero zero three. Then click enter. Directory number four. Uh, zero zero three. This will be zero zero number zero zero four or uh, zero zero four. Of course, again and D and five. The number will be uh, number zero zero five. Okay now. <coughs> After then, you just come to switch. So do right. Do right. Copying run configuration to start up configuration so running configuration current is around at RAM okay save at startup configurations is not was saved at NVRAM so NVRAM ni non-volatile memory and by in a save configurations permanent so current now with one command okay switch down uh, router configurations is not there because the zip of the RAM is temporary now RAM ni volatile in a lose content kizima router so we use it for tier configurations zetu unazitoa katika current is in a poran katika ram kwenda katika permanent storage ambao ni non volatile memory ambao ni nv ram yes, so zana click enter so to build configurations kwa ajili ya save hizo configurations okay so now another step is come katika phone and just yes, zoom in okay now see zoom in so, unachukua hii hapa headset, just come here and just kwenye press, kwenye connect. Then itakuwa powered on, unawona. Again, click here hapo, just zoom in, headset, and then unaplug here hapo. Okay, again, and this headset, and kwa wakatika gui, oh, device must be powered on, okay, okay now. So now, zoom in. Take headset and yes, plug in. Okay, another one is this one. So zoom in, go headset, plug in. And then the last one will be this one. Let's click and zoom in.
headset and then plug in okay <coughs> so now na yamisha i cable hapa ya console from router to to switch and then na connect katika console okay so now just click it uh, okay now so na close terminal relation program after then I open tena I just click okay okay now sound ipo kwenye switch kama unaona switch ina boot hapo ina boot okay okay now <coughs> so ish command command enable of course right enable config it config it terminal okay or config it and then let's change the host name by default is a switch so right host host name will be my my switch after changing host name and another step is put the easy interface on the first ethernet 02 sorry from 02 first ethernet to of course this one is 07 07 so from 0 02 first ethernet to 07 na kwa assigned to voice vlan okay so voice vlan so first ethernet is 02 up to 07 zina access voice vlan now so int interface for first ethernet of course is range interface range is in first ethernet from 0 stroke 2 to 6 and then you click enter okay so the switch port mode will be access switch port mode is access switch port mode is access and then a uh, switch port access um, access voice let's see the voice switch port access voice vlan uh, voice vlan voice vlan one okay now <coughs> by default computer zote zinakuwa katika vlan one zote uh, port 24 za switch zinakuwa katika vlan one so zile all ports ambazo ni 24 ports zinakuwa assigned katika vlan one by default so now, to may assign a switch to Kavilan 1, after then you click in, enter. And then just do right copying configurations. Okay. Okay. So now, after that, I'm going to position Yaku Testy Connectivity. Okay now, so we got to PC and we got to command prompt. Now write command ping default UTA that is 10 dot is 0 dot is 0 dot 1. So let's see in yeah, reply. Okay, so let's come to fonts position cursor IP address is not given and the phone number is not assigned. So in a, in a take time, we uh, will have establish these connections in a take time. So to speak, dogo. Okay, in a take time. Let's position here, yeah. bado, position. Phone number is not set. Uh, okay now, so let's so wait a moment. Pin in a... In a send the request ya kupata IP address kutoka katika router okay <coughs> okay now so the phone number is already given so the IP address is 10.0.0.11 slash 8 the gateway is 10.0.0.1 and line number is 1 Zero zero two. This one and this one. The phone number is one zero zero one. And this 
phone number is 1005 is this okay now so let's try what you are being so I got a GUI the phone number is 1002 let's call this one a GUI so position position so 004 1004 phone directory number 1002 is the directory number so 1004 what is this one let's yes, call it okay so now from this one to this uh, the phone number is 1002 1002 yes. Okay. <coughs> so finally just test from this phone okay to this one just, just the phone number is 4004 this is 4002 uh, let's select another for example this one and this this will be good okay so uh, what at Kagui is one zero zero four to use configurations for VLAN. So you but in the final configurations. Uh, use accept but in the final configurations and let's try this one. GUI one zero zero one one zero zero two and this one GUI one zero zero five. Okay, this one is zero zero five and this zero zero four. So one zero zero four call it okay. and one zero zero five is call it okay now. So that is one find us assign switch ports to voice VLAN step four Michelle Fania Apple and left question one configure telephone service it i assign phone number not testing okay now so now we're gonna create topology for your network 2 so network 2 assign one router so click at intermediary devices so select this one my press okay after then we got there are two devices switch and I press again you select the end stations here select the laptop my press and the laptop So and then we check laptop again. Yes. Then the uh, IP phone devices IP phone. Then I press again IP phone. I press. After then of my connections uh, straight through cable. But you have to connect uh, in my uh, This one of course when you first Ethernet zero zero to first Ethernet. Of course, zero two, zero two, yes, zero two. Okay, then again, the first Ethernet is zero three to switch, and first Ethernet is zero four to switch. Yes, let's take it in. Okay, and Connect it. When you get a PC, when you have a phone, when you get a fast Ethernet zero. No, no. So, <coughs> laptop to internet, katika it to internet, kuro katika IP phone. So, for your phone, he to tell you sign when you voice VLAN na data VLAN. So now, kija hapa, just connect it. PC. Okay, mm. so now I want to select you, but you have to by me. Okay, let's close it. So, but I want two networks. And we have two networks when you when you hear network, you have to have two networks. So, to check to 
kuwa na network ya kwanza itakuwa na IPRS 162.68.10.0 so hii itakuwa ni ni voice and uh, no 162.68.10.20.0 this will be that okay <coughs> na katika interface hapa tutakumfiga IPRS 2 katika interface tutakumfiga IPRS 2 kwa kutumia nini kwa kutumia encapsulation to one q protocol ya IPO e okay so now <coughs> all ip phones will be in voice vlan voice vlan ip phone and this ip phone will be in voice uh, voice vlan and computers will be in data data vlan and this laptop will be in data vlan okay I just take it so let's draw yeah okay and this will be a voice vlan and this will be a voice vlan this will be a data uh, sorry this data vlan data vlan and it will be a data yeah <coughs> So here you he can just this one and just this one. Okay. So now, chukua <coughs> kibu hii hapa, then nayamisha from this network to another this network, connect kwenye console, kwa hiyo fanya initial configuration. So now click, then terminal emulation program, and click OK. So each command is no, no additional information. Enable, config terminal. Um, let's config terminal weekend. So now, to na access interface fast internet zero zero. So write int far zero stroke zero. Okay. So uh, kabla hapo yaingia kwenye router sorry yaingia kwenye router tukonekti katika switch switch kwa ajili ya kutengeneza VLANs ya yeah. terminal emulation program <coughs> Okay so katika switch tunatengeneza two VLANs yes okay two VLANs katika switch yeah. so just push command enable config terminal So now tunatengeneza VLANs kwenye switch VLANs ambazo uh, zitawezesha computer kuwa katika data VLAN na so each command VLAN after writing VLAN then kiachofatiwa hapa ni kuandika VLAN number VLAN number is 10 The VLAN 10 name will be voice. And I click end. Let up one voice VLAN. Okay, so now tunatengeneza VLAN ambayo itakuwa ni VLAN uh, 20 and then VLAN 20 so name will be data click <coughs> end. Then we assign ports to <coughs> VLAN from first Ethernet 02 03 sorry 03 ambayo imeconnect kwenye IP phone hii to 04 hizi zinatakuwa ziwe katika voice VLAN okay katika voice VLAN so int range first Ethernet Sorry, so just write the existing bit. So int first Ethernet. Oh, sorry, int range. Int range. First Ethernet. <coughs> from 0 to 
zero four. So the switch switch port switch yes port of course switch port in you know, single you know, switch port mode mode is the access and switch port switch port access voice vlan so uh, voice with the voice vlan of course is a uh, vlan 10 okay <coughs> And computer, uh, it's a pokonye villain. With computer, it's a pokonye konye villain 20 and data villain. So now, uh, again, uh, switch port, switch port access villain. Uh, 20 and then 20 is data villain switch port access villain 20 and then config uh, uh, final configurations uh, a switch port first infinity 02 qua trunk trunk in mode ambayo inawezesha kubeba traffic za villain 240 na kwenye trunk cable yo so now exit so int bar zero of course zero one of course zero two first estimate is zero two when you turn zero two hapo zero two okay and switch port mode is trunk okay so do copy okay then I'm going to take a phone, GUI, oh sorry, yeah, just zoom in, and I press up, and up, and zoom in, and then I press up. <coughs> so now to am going cable, I'm going to console, and pick up on the PC, and open terminal so exit okay so each command the interface first as net is all zero and on the e then dot access vlan 10 okay then right encapsulation uh, encapsulation dot one two then villain number is villain ten then put a p rs it will be met number of the mist in an anime doctor ten doctor one and then two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero Hiyo itakuwa ni subnet mask Subnet mask kwa Kwa hii IP arrest After then Asuna click enter Then asuna check exit Again Interface interface net 0 0 20 vlan Yes IP arrest will be Twenty dot one here. Let's click enter. Okay, so just uh, okay now. So exit. Hmm. So again, to now interface first is net zero zero. About ni le le. zero zero. And on access we run twenty. Encapsulation dot one q. Oh, then we run number is twenty. And IP address will be this one okay <coughs> so each command exit so in get the interface int uh, zero zero click enter so each command you no know, shoot down no shoot 
so it activate hizo uh, interface ambazo ni logical interface so his inaitwa ni router on stick router on stick una configure ip address katika single interface two ip addresses katika single interface two ip address hicho kitendo kinaitwa router on stick <coughs> Na hichi kitendo kufanya hapa kinaitwa interviran. Interviran routing ni process ya kufanya routing ya packet from one VLAN to another VLAN sababu kila VLAN ni single collision. Kila VLAN ni single collision na almost ni single broadcasting domain. Kila VLAN interface is a single broadcasting domain. Maana hiyo packet kutoka katika VLAN moja Hazuwezi ka propagate kwenye vila nyingine. Otherwise, ukifanya inter-vila routing. Na zipo technique mbili ya kwanza ni router on stick ya pini ni legends. Legends unatumia physical cable, ambo ni expensive. Lakini router on stick yonu single cable na configure IP address katika virtual interface. Ok? So na wafanya configurations za DHCP server kwa kila VLAN. To each VLAN na kumpia DHCP server so exit. So IP DHCP excluded address. E, Umia sina bili nukta mia sina nane, nukta ten, nukta one. Umia sina bili nukta mia sina nane, nukta ten, nukta five. Okay. Again. Kwa network ya pili itakuwa nukta 20, nukta 1, nukta 20, nukta 5. Ok, so now IP DHCP pool, this is VLAN 20, this is pool name, VLAN 20, ok, ok. The network will be mia tisina mbili, nukta mia tisina nane, nukta... 10.0 network ID 255.255 So default subnet mask hiyo Kalabu jifanya subnetting na kwa hiyo Then The default router will be Mia tisina bili nukta mia tisina nane Nukta ten Nukta One Yes click enter Then option Mia msini IP Bibi mia tisina bili nukta mia tisina nane Nukta ten nukta wan default gateway So just exit So IP DHCP Pool The pool name will be VLAN 20 That is a data And then just write a network here Network will be I change it to 20 And Uh, default router will be uh, 20 to 1 and option 150 will be 20 ok so it is it <coughs> so now to the five configurations the IP phone so write telephone number the telephone service so max e phone Yes, put five. Sabo nizo kwa ungeza. Max. Directory number equal to five. Then auto assign. Auto assign. From four to six. Then auto assign. From one. Two five IP source address limit number ten voice VLAN number one. Then okay, you are going to use the port number for voice. Then port number for voice. 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 Uh, if on DN, sorry, uh, DN directory number one, okay, the number will be 2000, of course, here, 
and then two there we go number two sorry that's it directory number two for this one okay then click enter number and two zero zero one Exit. And just exit. And then do right. Okay, so let's try check. What's the sub? Of course, here Apple may pay a phone number two thousand. And this one. Okay, now so just open. When you go open here so <coughs> is the directory number is 2000 and is this 2001 so let's try okay. and this one is 2000 okay <coughs> And IP address when you computers, the desktop, IP configurations, DHCP, so DHCP is successful. So come on, I wanna 192.168.20.26.20 is network, while IP phones is mature.10. Okay, I'm gonna be up, I'm gonna be up, I'm gonna be up, one sixty eight dot ten dot seven. Wakati hini dot twenty zipo katika different networks. Kwa nini tumefanya tumezitengeneza VLANs after wazifanya routing. So different networks. So this is the data VLANs is voice. But zina share information kwa sababu tumefanya VLANs. So uh, let's do ping ping uh, ten dot seven. 10.7 just ping ping 10.0.0.0.7 let's click enter I destination destination okay now let's start away okay sorry this is 192 uh, ping yes and yes and yes and yes and yes and yes and yes lakini zipo kwenye different networks so kiangalia hii ip address yake unaona ni 192.168.10.7 na another network hiyo network nyingine so voice vlan ip address yake ni 10.0 and network id or network address data vlan is 20.0 uh, network is also two different networks like need to share the same switch like that. <coughs> okay now so nataka network hii iweze ku test network hii huku so just ni click huku i just ku call this network so packet itakuwa discarded somewhere packet itakuwa discarded ya sababu network hii haijakuwa connected ya sija unganishwa kama unaona Hazidi ya kuwa connected. Hazidi ya kuwa connected. <coughs> so, router and router are likely devices. So, tunatumia crossover. You can use a serial connection here. For example, a serial DTE. Of course, yes, connection hapo. Just click on router and click on command line and enable yes copy configurations uh right sorry and this one copy configurations and command line do right okay after then come to router uh, after then you have a physical zoom in then powered off the power off nakuja kwenye of course after serial connection click these modules so this is a serial. When you press serial, I just will press katika port. 
does anyone have a switch on? <coughs> the same procedure to this one. Uh, but the physical, then zoom in, then power off. So I'm zero configurations. Okay, we could go back to run configuration when we start up. Kila ndo chakui zima tu hivi configurations na tunafutwa. Doma tu lizi save. So na poti za Ethernet nyingine hizi unaweza kuweza kuclick na poti zimeongezeka. So na tunataka za serial uh, Just una click to hapo mpaka unazipata serial connection. This is a serial na una press and power. <coughs> After then unajikuna serial DC cause as kwa serial then connect to serial 0 1 0 and this one to serial uh of course 1 0 the same so this network you will have ip address of 192.168 dot uh Cause it three dot zero network ID. And this interface will be one, two, one, six, eight, dot three, dot one. And this one will be causing up a U. This is again the mist in a nun, the three in the two. Yes, okay, so now let's draw it. Yeah. So, okay. So, let's configurations to answer na nota here. Na connect katika console. After then, for configurations IP address, we need serial one zero. And then we the router, let's close it and open terminal emulation program. Okay, so enable config terminal, then int, int is the interface, then serial, serial one zero, C one zero. So come on, is cable label on your options, preferences. Then always show port labels on a check. Yeah, okay, and check uh, port labels make what hidden. Okay, check port labels make what displayed. Let's put it there. So now, let's proceed. Okay. So interface serial. One zero one zero of IP R the IP address is this one how one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot three dot one and then the subnet must two five five two five five two five five and no shoot is any click and of course is active. <coughs> so na close chukua console na edita hapa kwenye hizi ni console ok again click uh, terminal oh uh, yes this one ok so enable config terminal so Interface serial one zero so in serial one stroke zero IP address on here pa. so now IP add three nukta two two five five two five five two five five zero and no shoot down no shoot <coughs> After <coughs> configuring IP address to physical interfaces, now the final routing. Routing 
ni process ya forward packet from one network to another network routing zipo azaina mbili na two types of routing ya kwanza ni uh, static routing ya pili ni dynamic routing okay so now let's write here so not pad so routing there are two types of routing the base types of routing okay the kwanza ni just config static ya pili is that dynamic static routing and dynamic routing okay <coughs> so now in dynamic routing we have uh, routing that are distance vectors um, distance vector so distance vectors routing protocol na of of course just means that distance vectors okay now so katika dynamic tuna routing ambazo maana tumia distance vectors ya kwanza ni open shortest path first that is the OSPF another is routing information protocol that is RIP and we have RIP version 2 another one is 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 another is interior gateway routing protocol IGRP and we have enhanced interior gateway uh, routing protocol okay <coughs> okay now so kwenye OSPF na routing protocol SPF ambayo yanatumia algorithm ya Dijkstra this is Bellman Ford ISS IRP natumia diffused update algorithms and so on so hizi ni distance vectors hizi ni static kwa tofauti hizi zina zina kwanza unapokuwa network kubwa unatumia dynamic na zina len network automatic so na mention only direct connected networks <coughs> static yenyewe tukia changes kwenye network ya moja chini so naona moja katika this pc nafanya configuration ya simple routing protocol that is static kwa sababu static inatumika pa na kwa network network ndogo as well so ya katika terminal Okay, so now, so routing, routing, is it, okay, so, IP route, nafanya routing kuenda kwenye network hii hapa, 10.0.0.0 as a network ID, so IP route is 10.0.0.0 with subnet mask 255.0.0.0 again you pick the next hop or existing interface so as that you and the next hop is 192.168.3.1 pick interface ya kutokea mbali interface ambayo inatazamana nawe so interface ambayo inatazamana kwa hiyo na pick <coughs> okay. Hizi ni direct connected networks. So unaja kuimension hii 3 as a network, you know, imagine kama next hop. Sababu hizi zinaonana mpaka hapa. Ila huku ndo afiki. So kule ambapo afiki ndo unafanya kuwa kama route yako. Eh? <coughs> Again, yasamisha cable. So okay. And let uh, console uh, open terminal emulation program here and okay <coughs> okay so now exit we are to google configuration mode ip root na root network mbili ambazo ni his 10.0 and 20.0 
from this router iweze ku propagate na network yes hapa tafika kwa sababu ni direct connected networks na direct connected networks zinaona na mara nyingi IP routes 2.2.10.10.0 that is the voice vlan to pipeline zero the next hop will be this interface eh with IP address min nane nukta fili nukta tu again twenty and it will get twenty and the same configuration subnet mask in a next row okay so let's try to ping from this machine to this machine so this machine APRS, so you are in desktop, IP configurations, DHCP. I am IP 20.7. I have combo IPRS, IP configurations, 20.6. So this is 20.6 and 20.7 IPRS. Try to ping. Okay, now open command prompt. So once the ping default gateway, so ping. 10.0.0.1 as a default gateway so ok enza kawa haina IP address so kuja katika desktop close it IP configurations no IP address so DHCP ok So wait for IP address. Uh, yes. Requesting. Okay, now close it and open again. All right. This is sorry. This is this PC or oh, this PC? And then IP configurations. Okay, now. So we can ping it. Uh, yes. Command prompt. Ping this one. So ping. Mili, nukta mia stina nane, nukta tuen Sorry, ping tuen, dot zero, dot zero, dot one Default gateway, and this one And ping three, dot one Yes, nukta mia stina nane, nukta three, nukta one Of course, I'm not reply So ping three, two, and just ping Three, two, in Africa And ping now ping of course ping 10.1 default gateway of voice vlan and reply and ping 20.1 default gateway of data vlan of course and reply so come and reply now ping 20.6 now and reply 20.6 is this pc of course 20.7 okay 20.7 of course yeah, this PC. <coughs> so it reply, of course it reply. So, but you can't call from this PC, from this IP phone to this IP phone. So, but we find a routing your IP phone, your voice. We find a routing your data. Okay. So, just to call his address, so to try, for example, this phone number is two thousand. In this network, phone number. So try to call. Uh, try to call two thousand. Is another network. Unknown number because no routing. The final routing here before. <coughs> so the final routing. Yeah. IP phone routing now, so just come to terminal. Okay, so exit. We got a global configuration mode. So issue this command dial. Dial. So okay now global configuration config config t and of course this command. And 
voice and one as a number voice over internet protocol because after then he has to be key enter okay so write destination pattern destination pattern destination pattern for example <coughs> this phone number one here ip phone na yapa zimeanzia na number two kwa sababu moja hapa ni 2000 na nyingine ni 2001 kwao number ilianza ni two so kama number ilianza two una match pattern is two kwa sababu kuna moja ina namba hii suppose phone number ya hii ni hii na phone number ya hii ni 2001 kwa sababu ukiklik hapa phone number ni 2001 phone number is this one phone number is 2000 hizo ni phone number okay okay so tuna suppose kwamba number zipo na four digits eh 1 2 3 okay so tuna match patterns two another number i don't know so 1 2 3 4 digits eh match pattern then we we'll, we'll just click enter then the right session of course session target So session target is IPv4. Then you pick it. next hole that is no space. Itamia 68.3.2. Then we can so do right. <coughs> so the same procedure just copy it. Okay. So let's take it here as yes, your mission. This one console. Okay. So I click it. Terminal. It's okay. Okay. So now command in here. So destination. Destination pattern. So these numbers me and Ziana. One or the one thousand and two and this phone number is one thousand and one and this phone number is one thousand and five and this phone number is one thousand and four. So it's near the one 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 one. So it's near the one one to the match pattern here one. Match pattern is one another number I don't know. Digit is. So let's click enter in session now of course session session target the session target is ip v4 and you pick this interface someone that's the end of that one and then do Right. Okay. <coughs> so let's try to call two. This is one thousand and two, and this one is two thousand. Different networks. Okay. So let's try to call. So two zero zero zero. Okay. So in let's call one thousand and two one zero zero two call. Right. Let's call another. This one and this one. Okay. So two zero zero one. Call yes and one this number zero zero four call yes okay and you can test it at the same network for example this one and this one okay the same network okay uh, this, there is a problem here 
problem apple uh, use a coral as in use a coral the problem apple is problem when you assign port number there's no problem so this one and this one and one zero zero two yes and uh, one zero zero four the same network in apply again call this network this one and this one okay yes we can open and so two thousand and one two zero zero one so it applies in two thousand two thousand Yes. PC and PC can communicate this PC and this PC. So just come to this PC, IP configurations 20.6, okay, and this IP configurations is plus A IP address. So different networks, yeah, different networks here. So in network in Indiana, and this is another network. Is class A in class C IPRS. Okay, so come to desktop, command prompt. Uh, now you can ping. Ping. Uh, it replies. Eh? It replies. This one is for. Yes, then come to this PC, command prompt, and ping. This PC will be 10.0.0.6. Okay, it will price. So drop a packet data unit. Packet data unit is PDU. So simple PDU from this PC to this PC. Okay. And then click on simulation here and just uh, expand it and then play speed and then play. I can see how the packet moves. How the packet moves. Okay. <coughs> okay, now happen to find your routing. So routing in a angalia in a enda. So in another particular router, I'm going here. So router in Angalia source IP address, source MAC address, destination IP address, destination MAC address. And then switch in Angalia, uh, when you record yake, come up on a your MAC address. In another one specific key, what uh, computer? Okay. So here in the routing. <coughs> So kitugali kimetumu hapa address resolution protocol Kwa jugia kuangalia hii packet ilo ito hapa kwa nda huku Ikifika katika switch, switch ina katika switch ina katika layer 3 Router anasoma source MAC address, source IP address Destination MAC address, destination IP address Kisha router anangalia Hiyo destination IP address kama naijua Atajua aje kama umekonfigia ume routing So ataangalia hapa naudisha acknowledgement Acknowledgement kwa mba packet is successful delivered Ok now as you see hapa ume success is successful delivered Ok now hapa ISMP internet control messaging protocol imekua successful Ok so packet ifika hapa router atasoma kwenye routing table Kama yu network yamba yu packet inaenda ipo kwenye routing table. So routing table ni table ambayo inaifaziwa katika RAM. Ukizima router, routing table kujia kuiwasha ina build upia. Yeah. So packet kilewa katika network, kifika katika router, router anaisoma. Anasoma packet yule destination IP address, destination network. Source uh, network imetoka wapi na source MAC address. Akisha igundua destination IP address kwenye routing table ipo Anangalia path Kama kuna path zipo nene hapa Router ataangalia path ipi Itafika yu uh, packet haraka So router ana 
matrix za kuangalia ya kwanza ni bandwidth ya pili ni load uh, ya tatu ni administrative distance kutoka katika source kuna kwenye destination <coughs> kutokana na routing protocol wa configure so kitumia OSPF au IGRP kwenye OSPF au kwenye IGRP yeye anaangalia load anaangalia time anaangalia bandwidth ili pasi itakayokuwa na bandwidth kubwa ndio itapita hiyo packet so kija katika static routing static routing yenyewe hafai calculations zozote yeye just anafuad ile packet so nini kinachoangalia ipi ni best path kwenda kwa destination ipi naangalia ni algorithms zinazotumika katika hizo routing protocol so kitumia OSPF maana kitatumia dihistral algorithm kufanya calculations ya vector ambayo ni the best vector au the best path so the best path itahifadhiwa katika routing table kama hii ndio best path ya kupitisha packet uh, kwa IGRP yeye anatumia diffuse up to date algorithm au duo algorithm for this kwa rip routing function protocol anatumia Bellman Ford kama algorithm ya calculate best path so kwa rip ye yeah, best path ni hops ile path itakayokuwa na hops chache ile ndio the best path okay now so guys uh, project yetu hii now na kuja katika file kuja katika save then na save katika computer okay so kitaka kuangalia information kwenye switch kuja katika command line so unakuja katika view mode enable so view mode ni hapa PVD mode so show vlan of course ni brief click enter we can see hapa na vlan 1 so vlan 1 is default and all ports are assigned to default vlan 1 okay lakini huku na vlan 2 vlan so ya command line tena yes enable and show vlan and yes right brief i have default vlan i have voice vlan 10 i have data vlan 20 so vlan 10 ah uh, imekuwa side kwenye 03 na 04 vlan 20 0304 okay can show command kwenye router here yes kwenye router just click command line exit or end end and show IP show IP in interface brief okay so I, I show IP interface brief <coughs> first thing it is so now unaweza kaja kuona hapa routing protocol yeah. of course by default routing protocol yeah, yeah. okay so ni IP address ya 20 imekuwa ime send hapa ya 20 hapa kwa ni first ethernet 00.10 kwa sababu hiyo ndio encapsulation tunayotumia dot 1 q ile na hii dot 20 zile zimekuwa send hapa so nvram is up kwa sababu tume save uh, configurations file kutoka katika ram kwenda katika startup config ambayo ni nvram okay